this morning look at that huh it's uh 6 42 <clears throat> i'm gonna go out to this uh it's a two-door hobart reach-in refrigerator from 1992 the compressor had failed on it it's an old r22 i got a uh, 134a condensing unit that's the same btus so we're going to change that condensing unit in the cap tube and we'll convert this from a r22 Go ahead and convert it over to a 134A because uh, that's what they had in stock. You could have went, you could go 404A on it with the cap tube still work. 134 was pretty good with cap tubes. Um, keep the condensers clean. So let's get this party started. original <clears throat> I think it's going to be different it's my new condensing unit doesn't have the condensate pad built into it so I'm going to extend that hose over that condensate hose and I have a um, 115 volt condensate pan coming that I'm going to wire in got your evaporator coil your temperature sensor for your constant cut and thermostat goes right in the coil. So our cap tube hooks up, we're gonna sweat it out. Let me see if I can focus. Right there. And I'm gonna start taking this apart now that it's all recovered. Since it's a cap tube system, I am going to take that receiver off. Uh, don't want to run a receiver when you got a cap tube system. Will it work? Yeah, it'll work. But you don't want a receiver on there. So I'm going to take this apart and we'll get it ready. Come out of my compressor, come up over to the suction line. And my cap tube, got a new thermostat. Um, uh, I wanted to get the shop vac. I got I to gotta shop vac out that drain pan. Got it on the vacuum pump, sucking out of the suction side. I got the uh, micron gauge on the high side. New thermostat. New cap tube. New condensing unit. We're going to charge it with 134A. And uh, once I, I get it all running and dialed in, then we'll put all the metal back. All that fun stuff. See how it see how, see how she does. Once the unit changed out, our dryer, our cap tube, new thermostat. I'm gonna extend the drain tube out because, like I said, this this uh, OEM uh, condenser had the uh, condensate built into it. The one they had in stock at the parts house didn't. 
So I ordered up a condensate pan, so I'm gonna run it over for, uh, I should have it Monday, today, Sunday. So for today, I'm gonna put a little, little Tupperware up there to let the water drain into, so I'm gonna extend the hose out. I'll show you all that when I get it going. I got it on the vacuum pump right now. It's just one three eighths hose on the low side and the micron gauge on the high side. And the field piece up there kicking mega A. I love that vacuum pump. What was that? You guys wanted to see this again? I got a, this little paint tray is temporary for my condensate. I got a heated condensate pan coming. That's going to work for today. I extended the condensate drain. I vacuumed out the old drain pan with my shop vac. And we'll see what we get with the, with the charge. They're coming on down the mountain. Ten ounces. Hobart serial number. 1990. I think it's 92 or something. 90s. 82. Right, here's where we came out to. I came out to about 13 ounces. 34A. And I got about my 18 degree evaporator going. It's a little high. The box is hot. And, uh, this is close. I'd say 60. Let's see what we got on my field. I got a field piece probe inside of here. Uh, field piece, field piece's new app, or the re revamped version of the app, works flawlessly now with the probes. I know in the past I'd complained about it. If you guys are thinking about getting the field piece probes, the, the field piece app works killer, and so does the Measure Quick app. So it's a great. They've really done a good job with those. And I know in the past I was complaining, but I love those field piece probes now. Let's take a look at a screenshot. Not bad. As head pressure starting to come down as the box is pulling, so pretty close right there. Pressures are cooperating. You can see the suction drop a little bit. We're right around, uh, right around 14 or 15 degree evaporator. And our head pressure dropped down quite a bit. Now the load's off that box. Like around 145 on the head. Then I can look at my PT chart and see what that condensing temperature is. And that's what the box came down the it was, uh, now it's at 45 degrees, so it's behaving. I like what I'm seeing. Oh, check this out. I made a little quick check bag. A little veto. Lightweight with the tablet holder in the back. Come on, let's go check this fridge. Bearing shot. I saw some of the ball bearings rolling around. This thing's toast. I'll show you guys this. I got this Vito bag. A couple little zippers on the side just to make a lighter. This is the uh, TPXL. Velcro pocket on the front. Um, I bought a little, it's got this cool pocket up here and a magnet. 
Uh, just for doing some quick checks, I got some jumpers in there. Big pocket in the front, two. Then I got an adapter for the mini splits. Uh, this snaps in right here. And then this folds over. Oh, the back has the pocket for your, for your iPad. Got the iPad in there. Nice handle, nice shoulder strap, lots of pockets. You get this cool hook that pulls up. Look at that. That's super cool. With another big pocket right up here. Elastic pocket, you can put a bunch of stuff in. Uh, I got the Testos in here. I just got one pressure probe, plant probe, and temperature probe. 605i just you know just for checking stuff and then for the meter i put my little tiny meter in there a little unity some tie wraps some basic tools reefer wrench and stuff pen um just for doing some quick checks then up here i bought another little organizer to put wire nuts in it has a magnet right here you can put your screws then i put this little organizer up there I haven't filled it all the way up yet, but I'm gonna put a bunch of wire nuts and different stuff. And that fit right in there like a glove. So, I just got that bag. I really like it so far. Um, depending how much weight you get in there, it is back heavy and it's gonna to wanna to tip over. Um, but that doesn't bother me because everything's where it is. And uh, maybe if I put my impact in the front, I could weigh it more to the front or something, but I just got it for quick checks. It's super light. Nice big shoulder strap. Oh, yeah. I just I went to Home Depot. I got a mini split install coming. And that's going to be my condensate drain. I picked up some more detergent. You could get detergent at Home Depot. It was seven bucks. They just raised it to eight. You get the big jug for only eight bucks. That's like a 15 or a 20 bucker at Safeway. So I get those at the Homeless Depot.